Good morning, Jesse. Good morning, Terry. We'll wait just another <clears throat> few seconds to uh, get people on. Good morning, Karen. Is it snowing there? Welcome to the live stream of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church to Cuesta, Florida on this Monday, the 26th of October, 2020. My name is Letty Anderson, and I'm a member of Good Shepherd Daily Office Team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. Today's service will be broadcast both on Facebook Live and on Zoom. To download the service leaflet for this morning's service, go to goodshepvirtual.org, click on prayer and study, and look for today's date. This service will also be available beginning at 10 a.m. on Good Shepherd's YouTube channel. So if you have friends who would like to experience morning prayer at Good Shepherd, just have them go to youtube.com and search on Good Shepherd to Cuesta. <clears throat> Good morning, Kathy. Karen from snowy Wisconsin. Hi, Wendy. Good morning. Let us confess. I'm sorry, I'm not starting at the beginning. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Let us say together the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 41 and 52. We will say the Psalms in unison. 
Happy are they who consider the poor and the needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the land. He does not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die and his name perish? Even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their heart collects false rumors. They go outside and spread them. All my enemies whisper together about me and devise evil against me. A deadly thing, they say, has fastened on him. He has taken to his bed and will never get up again. Even my best friend whom I trusted, who broke bread with me, has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O oh Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up and I shall repay them. By this I know you are pleased with me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity you hold me fast, and shall set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. Amen. Psalm 52. You tyrant, why do you boast of wickedness against the godly all day long? You plot ruin. Your tongue is like a sharpened razor, a worker of deception. You love evil more than good and lying more than speaking the truth. You love all words that hurt. Oh, you deceitful tongue. Oh, that God would demolish you utterly topple you and snatch you from your dwelling and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous shall see and tremble and they shall laugh at him saying, this is the one who did not take God for a refuge, but trusted in great wealth and relied upon wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will give you thanks for what you have done and declare the goodness of your name in the presence of the godly. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, Joan, and good morning, Carol and Octavia. And we also have Ian and Pam and Bob on Zoom. So we have a nice group this morning. Our first reading, the Old Testament lesson, is from the book of Sirach. One who trusts others too quickly has a shallow mind, and one who sins does wrong to himself. One who rejoices in wickedness will be condemned. One who what one who hates gossip has less evil. Never repeat a conversation and you will lose nothing at all. With a friend or foe, do not report it. And unless it would be a sin for you, do not reveal it. For someone may have heard you and watched you and in time will hate you. Have you heard something? Let it die with you. Be brave. It will not make you burst. Having heard something, the fool suffers birth pains, like a woman in labor with a child, like an arrow stuck in a person's thigh. So is gossip inside a fool. Question a friend, perhaps he did not do it, or if he did, so that he may not do it again. Question a neighbor, perhaps he did not say it, or if he said it, so that he may not repeat it. Question a friend, for often it is slander. So do not believe everything you hear. A person may make a slip without intending it. Who has not sinned with his tongue? Question your neighbor before you threaten him, 
and let the law of the Most High take its course. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our next canticle this morning from the Old Testament is the first song of Isaiah. We'll say the psalm in unison. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> um, the second lesson this morning is from the Gospel according to Luke. Now Jesus was casting out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the one who had been mute spoke, and the crowds were amazed. But some of them said, he cast out demons by Beelzebul, the ruler of demons. Others, to test him, kept demanding from him a sign from heaven. But he knew what they were thinking and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself becomes a desert, and the house falls on house. If Satan is also divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out the demons by Beelzebul. Now, if I cast out the demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your exorcists cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out the demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his castle, his property is safe. But when one stranger then he attacks him and overpowers him. He will take away his armor in which he trusted and divides his plunder. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When the unclean spirit had gone out of the person, it wanders through waterless regions looking for a resting place, but not finding any. It says, I will return to my house from which I came. When it comes, it finds it swept and put in order. Then it goes and brings seven other spirits more evil than itself. And they enter and live there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the New Testament canticle, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? for you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the collect appointed for this day and this week in proper 25. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise, make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A collect for peace. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer of self-dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today, especially, the Diocese of Remo. <clears throat> the Most Reverend Dr. Michael Fape, Archbishop, the Diocese of Cyprus and the Gulf, the Most Reverend Michael Augustine Owen Lewis, Primate, and the Diocese of Kumasi, the Most Reverend Dr. Daniel Sarfo, Archbishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, our companion diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Right Reverend Laish Thane Boyd Sr. Bishop. A prayer for mission. <clears throat> Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers 
which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray also for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Ricardo, Vincent, Joanna, Karen, Jill, Jessica, Kay, Liz, Todd, Wally and Evelyn, Scott, Carolyn, Nicholas, Joe, Lance, Jack, Kelly, Edwin, Brad and Linda, Christy, Bill, Marie, Glendon's family, Charles, Lori, Gloria, Nico, and Candy. A prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, Hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. <clears throat> oh, good morning, Octavia from North Carolina. Jesse, we hope your parents feel better too. I hope they're not sick with COVID. We want to also pray for all first responders and healthcare workers who are dealing with this uptick in COVID. We know that throughout the country, um, there's many states, 40 something states where the numbers are up. <clears throat> We're not experiencing that in our county in Martin County and Palm Beach County seems to be a little bit up, but pretty, pretty good. So we hope that um, things are going well for everyone else. We also want to give thanks for our in-person worship, which we have been experiencing for four Sundays now. Um, well, three, I guess, because last week we watched our bishop and the um, 50th convention of our diocese. But uh, mostly um, <clears throat> we, we give thanks that we're able to meet again in person and also have in-person communion on uh, Sunday afternoons. I think there may be some more um, prayers, but I can't see them for some reason, you know? Oh, Terry, thank you for our country. Yes, we're going, <clears throat> we're in the middle of our, um, not only a pandemic, but the election cycle and the last day for voting is tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually, a week from tomorrow is actually election day. So we are hoping and praying that the election goes well and that everyone gets to vote. From Pam, pray for the soul of Frank Harris. He passed away last night. I'm so sorry. May he rest at the hand of our Lord. And for me and pray for all those in the path of wildfire fires, particularly those the one near Estes Park, Colorado. Thank you, Ian.
Jesse, thank you. Pray for our youth group. <clears throat> They've been meeting in person, but didn't get to meet last night because of the field being wet and some rain problems. So hopefully next Sunday, they'll get to meet in person. They're very much enjoying getting together. Let us say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you <clears throat> in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all so much for joining us this morning. We're doing, it, um, like I said, we're recording on Zoom and Facebook. So you can join us on either platform. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Karen. I hope everyone has a good day. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be here all week, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Have a great day.